Hello again. They're just eating some flakes, having a little bit of a a little bit of a tough tough with each other there. Just gave them a little flake feeding. But something has changed. Can you see it? I'll give you a moment to try and see what's different. And what's different is I removed all my thither fish, my small fish. The rummy nose and the skirted tetra and uh, neons. Um, yep, yeah. I pulled them all. Probably about 20 fish there, roughly, give or take. And I did it because the discus are uh, growing quickly. They're getting quite large. So I figured it's a good time to reduce the bio load a tad. They, the other fish uh, serve their purpose. My discus are all, uh, they all know each other and the pecking order's worked out. Everybody, you know, I don't have a lot of fighting anymore. None of that stuff. So I've, I've pulled them. They're living in a 15 gallon tank in the other room. I'll give you a quick show of that. So we have them over here in my 15 gallon Fluvel Flex. The top light burnt out on this tank, so I've got a light pointing in on the side. But uh, yeah, I'll live uh, quite happily over here. Just need to wash my glass a little bit, but otherwise, this tank's been seasoned for a long time and they'll do nicely. And I can run them cooler in here which they'll like because they want to be around 79 degrees so they're going to get that from now on and back in the main tank basically we've just got the discus and we've got Ely, he's still in here um, no, I'm not going to take Ely out, Ely loves this tank and Ely needs a nice big tank anyway so he's just up there chilling hanging out on his, uh, his decor doing its thing. I really like that eel. He's he's just if you don't have one of these and you've got, you know, anything above a 40 gallon tank, 40 gallon and up, get one of these guys. Half banded spiny eel. There's peacock eels, but they get bigger and bigger means more aggressive. Uh, the peacocks are supposed to be probably just as friendly, but these guys stay smaller and uh, they mix well. They, he 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 doesn't hunt anybody. He doesn't eat anybody. I'm worried he's eaten my Amano shrimp though, because I'm having a hard time seeing them. Uh, he may have eaten them, but if he did, he did. Expensive expensive uh, treat, I suppose. And I hope they're still alive in there, but. I'm starting to lose faith. I mean, it looks like some cleanup's been done, but I, I moved everything around today, and unless they're hiding inside those spires, which they could be, I didn't see any. So, I'll keep you posted on the Amanos. Uh, that's Ely. Really cool, cool tank mate. He's very active. He's out often. He eats like a little piggy. He gets right up in the school and eats with them when I put in the blood worms because that's all he's interested in. Doing his little dance. But yep, the other fish removed. Just mainly discus now. Some quarries and my eel. And a couple coolie loaches. And if they're still alive, three. Uh, pom pom crabs. Yeah. So that's where we'll keep the population as the discus grow. And they're growing nicely. These little guys are catching up to my big guys real quick. Real quick. There's some bigger ones down over here. A little color on him. Look at that. He's so happy he's dropped all his bars. And he's not even that old. And he's already dropped his bars. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm very pleased. Very, very pleased. I hope you all have a wonderful day.